There's no bond quite like the one between a mother and her child Dedicated mothers often make big sacrifices to take care of their young ones even in the animal world One nonprofit worker regularly saw this firsthand Over the decades working with cats the director of a feline rescue organization had seen just about everything when it came to kitties But shortly after finding two mysterious cardboard boxes on her doorstep one morning She better understood the lengths some moms will go to for their babies there were no crates or cages for the kittens living at Project Per Animal Rescue in Mobile, Alabama. Nonprofit director Margie Morris made sure that when she provided a free range home. Over 100 cats run through the several suites of this strip mall based rescue center. Each of them chow down on a few thousand dollars worth of kibble and soil 200 pounds of cat litter as a unit daily. To say Maggie loved her rescue cats would be an understatement. But in her handling of hundreds of cats and adoptions, she rarely encountered anything quite like what she found in July of 2017. On a Thursday morning, Margie rolled into work only to find two cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other outside the front door of her office. On further inspection, they proved to be quite strange. Punched holes peppered the boxes and someone had sloppily wrapped them with duct tape. Margie's stomach sank. She suspected she knew what was in those boxes. Margie and the shelter staff opened the top box and confirmed Margie's suspicions Inside lay a mother cat alongside two orange kittens both five weeks old and in the second box Fearing the worst Margie and her team opened the second box and it was empty Evidence suggested however that the box once held a cat who'd escaped her cardboard prison. This was a problem She'd worry about later in the meantime cat loving Margie had a clear and present problem the mother cat and her kittens she named the mother Caroline and the kittens Shiloh and Neil Then she did what she did best and helped the cats out Margie gave Caroline extra cat food with vitamins to bulk her up and set up a little bed and a little kennel for her to keep Shiloh and Neil safe Meanwhile at the rescue the kittens had the time of their lives as small as they are Margie said the kittens will play and they're wrestling each other and jumping around and they cuddle up next to the mom she loves them and she's taking very good care of them But Caroline also had a secret Even with two kittens to care for Caroline was pregnant Margie suspected she'd become pregnant shortly after birthing Shiloh and Neil and that the new litter would be weeks away But just a couple days after her discovery Caroline went into labor and delivered four more adorable kittens But something didn't add up to Margie when she did the math Given the timeline, there was no chance that Shiloh and Neil were Caroline's true cats. She adopted the little tykes herself, taking a couple lonely kittens under her paw. Talk about motherly instinct. But then, who was the true mother of Shiloh and Neil? Once again, Margie had her suspicions. The cat who escaped the empty cardboard box. And soon, coincidentally, a rescue worker spotted something curious outside. On Saturday morning, there was another cat spotted running around the parking lot of our little strip mall, Margie said. Myself and three team volunteers tried to catch her. She was getting up in the car engines, Margie said, and we couldn't catch her. It was pouring down rain. We tried to bribe her with food, but we were just unsuccessful. We we're hoping that she's still out there somewhere. It's unknown whether Project Per Animal Rescue has ever caught the loosed cat and if she truly was the mother of Shiloh and Neil. But nonetheless, Margie knew Caroline had the kitten situation under control. See, Caroline could have escaped her cardboard box if she'd wanted. A desperate cat with sharp claws can do anything they put their mind to. But she stayed with her adopted children to protect them. I'm just grateful that she didn't run away and leave the babies, Margie said. I think that might be the best thing I love about that cat. She didn't leave those babies. She's the best mom ever. And with her four new kittens, Caroline still didn't shirk her responsibilities towards Shiloh and Neil. She took care of them and her new babies. She was the best thing to ever land on Project Per Animal Rescue's doorstep.